What a year it is so far here for the Seattle Crack. An enormous bounce back year in the plus column, 32, 26, and 3. In second in this division, but take that with a grain of salt, considering we only have 67 points. Not exactly great, but I mean, hey, in this division, we're doing good enough to be in a playoff spot. We'll see if we can sort of sustain that here. So at the deadline, again, probably not going to make any major trades. Saw someone saying we should do whatever it takes to try to get that medium franchise guy. I don't think we're there yet, especially in, if it includes trading any of the players that we have just recently drafted and stuff like that. I'm, we're trying to, I think we can make it work with this top six. I mean, if someone is 100% getting stunted, sure, we could trade him at some point. But, I mean, we're not even close to that yet. I mean, Lawrence is only 20. Yeah, we're we're nowhere close to moving some guys. So, holding off on that. The Yeah, we'll see what happens with... Uh, our defensive situation, unfortunately, Roy Witt Kazalba, he'll be back soon. But honestly, like, yeah, another coach would be nice. But for right now, uh, it's working. And yeah, let's uh, let's see what we got in the way of picks. Just all our normal picks. So we can grab a total of two more if we ship some stuff out. We can trade this Anderson guy. I'd rather wait for him to grow and get more value. It's not a ton of value that he has right now. Like, you can't even get a three for that, so it's 100% not worth it. Kaigerota of Larson, yeah, they're waiting on them to get good. Well, let's look how many elites we have, man. That's sick. You love to see it. Macintosh is ready next season. Oh, man. Hell yeah, Blumdahl. I still think he can make it. He's going to have to get a good jump and grow really well. I, he should still maybe make it to top four, but it won't be anything. Like I'm thinking his, his ceiling right now is probably going to be 85 overall, which is good enough. We'll see, though. I hope he makes it there. It'd be really, really good. Anyway, um, 59 at 20, power forward Pavelski. He could maybe get moved here. Maybe hold on to him for another year because I think this is the, f when, when do we draft him? It's 26. We draft him 25. Yeah, this is his first year. We can hold off. Next year we could trade him. Uh, Benda, same thing. Kind of wait on him, but. Oh, wait, no, actually, Benda was drafted before 24. Benda could be traded now. Yeah. It ain't looking like he's going anywhere. So we can move him now. What can I get for him? The Jets want him. Could they get give me a late second? Looks like it. Oh, absolutely. So we could get a second for 26. Probably something else. Okay, two seconds? No, unfortunate. Okay. I was I was like, that would be insane if we can get two seconds. How about a second and a third for next year? No. Probably not a second and a third from this year. All right, well, the question is... Before I commit to which year I want the picks, I'm going to see if there's anything else I, I'm looking to get rid of. Low 6, 69 and 19. Now hold on to him. I know it's still a grinder and they might not be as good, but I still, I'm still trying to find ways to make it work. I still think you can get good chemistry with him. Okay, top 9 sniper we can move. Maybe I package them together in the same deal. And maybe I can get 2 seconds like this. Nah, okay. Well, could definitely get a second and a third like this, though. Or at least theoretically. I'm getting trying for extra, but I doubt I get extra. Uh, Sweet and Valley just a touch. Well, we can get something from next year for sure. So probably like a fifth from next year if we do this. Yeah. So we get a two and a three and then a five from next year. 
That's not too bad. We got a one, two, two, two threes, four, six, seven. Oh, I didn't have a five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we can grab one more pick. My B. I missed that. I had. I could have got the five from this year. <laughs> it would have been perfect. Whatever. We got a five from next year. This does leave us room to move up without trading a pick, but it's not like that amazing. Callie Carlson can go. Anyone want this guy? Penguins do. Let's try to get a five. Yeah. Should work. So I'm tempted to try to also grab something from next year as well. Woefully insufficient. Okay. Might not be able to. I might be. It's hard to tell when the value is this low though. So I'm trying to get everything I can. Maybe not even a five, huh? Wow. Okay, so we can't get a five. Not gonna get a five from these guys. Even though, actually, block for block, it might go. No, 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 because it was block for, yeah. Might have to go off block, just for a a pick that's, that's gonna be better. Or worse, sorry. Uh, a record that's better. I'm thinking. Uh, might, it still might not work, even if it's from the Oilers or something like that. At that point, you're pretty much getting a six. I just want to see. Nah. Okay, so him alone is not going to be able to get us a five. At that point, you might as well pack them together with something else and maybe try for something better if if we have that. I don't think we have anything unsigned down here. No, nope, we've done a pretty decent job drafting. Our worst guy is a low nine. Low six is the guy we want to hold on to. Low nine, so I guess I just go ahead and grab... Yeah, again, I think we wait and trade hard to kind of next year anyway. Even though he ain't grown too well. Uh, this It's not worth trading him right now anyway. Yeah, let's just grab like a six or something. Who wanted him? Boston wants him. All right, they have a slightly better pick. Can I get a five out of them? I'm still kind of trying for it, but I, I just think the value is too rough. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Unless I can trade one of my sevens from next year. I say one of them, even though I only have one. That'll work. All right. Fine. We have a five for this year. There we go. Nine picks total. All right. And that concludes our uh, trade deadline shenanigans. <laughs> I like this. I really like the new value system. How Lambert, now that he's established as an elite has better value whereas this would still be almost similar value to when he was drafted you could see the difference like well some of them have gone up now but yeah it's just, it's just great it's it's really really good what they've done with the value system i'm really i really like it anyway we have a lot of good players man i'm excited legacy i'm super stoked on legacy look the way he's grown i am so happy we made that those trades at the draft like, on the surface, like, yeah, you maybe costed ourselves more value, but, I mean, did we? <laughs> With the way things kind of turned out? Theoretically, yes, but we got what we needed. All right. So, that's that. And, what was I looking at? Extensions? Did I do extensions? Yeah, we did Tarasenko. Um, I think we're going to probably let Everly go. Uh, someone was saying maybe trade trade Lind for like a better three C, but I don't I don't want to trade. Oh yeah, shit, he doesn't want to come back. Damn. Um, I still don't want to trade Lind. I kind of like him. He's shoot energy block. I kind of like him for a third line still. He's got really really good offensive stats. At least awareness, not the greatest passing. Um, I think he'd be great as a winger, especially with Eberly departing. I still think I like him. He's going to probably be centering. Uh, what's his name? Where the hell is he? Macintosh. Macintosh when he comes up. And then Meyer will still be there. 
So that's likely what's going to happen. That's why I kind of like Lind. Uh, I like him more than Everly because Everly's beginning to decline. Um, even though Lind doesn't want to come back, we could get him back. Honestly, I could sign him right now for a little bit more than he's worth. I know he doesn't want a deal, but he doesn't want a whole heck of a lot. I'm going to do like three and a half or three years for Lind. Just going to lock him in right there. We're still saving 1.5. We're overpaying him right now. Unfortunately, Flurry's a tough one. Yeah, Fl see, if you want an extension, we'd be able to get him to a much, much better deal. But we'll add that into the uh, crop of guys we'd like to hold on to. We're going to have two major extensions kicking in next year. Um, we're going to have to sign Roy Whitka next year. And I probably... Did we already sign Dennis? Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. We already got Denisov. Denisov is also kicking in next year. So, yeah, we got quite a few. Roy Whitka we'll have to sign next year. And then the year after that, we'll have to get Tootin. And a couple other guys, including Leg. Yeah, we're going to have that year after next is going to be a big, 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 big year. Lawrence is also up next year, but Lang, Ever, uh, sorry, Legacy, Tootin. I think I feel like I'm missing one, but I don't think so. Anyway, that's that. So let's uh, continue on here. I don't think anyone will uh, reject, but let's just go day by day just in case. Wait, what? Because fully healed, so shove him back in the lineup. Did I do this? I think I did. Wait. Hold on. I, don't, I think I had Flurry just sitting. <laughs> Looks like it. It was one of them sitting. I can't remember if it was Hayden or the other dude, but... Oh, here's an easy way to freaking check. He had 61 games played. Yeah, so he was actually playing. I actually had Hayden sitting when he has 25. Take, that's a lot of penalties. But he's plus 9 as opposed to minus 10 for Kale. Plus 4, sorry. Uh, I'll leave Hayden in. We'll switch him out. 61 games is enough. Unfortunately, I can't really get better chemistry because both Alexiak and Lozon have slightly better uh, chemistry than he would there. So I guess uh, Kale will sit now. Flory Brothers went from playing together to uh, switching who gets scratched. Is what it is, though. <laughs> They're both kind of around that same replacement level-ish, at least right now, in this chemistry system. Again, that's why we need a better coach. But well, Whitka's back, baby. Still a little upset that I can't get at least a plus one for this combo. It's a lot, it's a lot more difficult. A lot more difficult. You know what, dude? I forgot way we got Roy Whitkin in the second round. <laughs> like, he's so sick. He actually made it. He's 22, 85. Like, he could theoretically still be a top two. He's not the greatest build ever, but that's pretty awesome. No X Factor either, which does suck, which is probably also a contributing factor to the chemistry thing. Seems X Factor and Superstar abilities are very, very important. Anyway. Uh, Lemieux, Pocket, Booneman, Tarasenko... Sanford, Lozon, Lind, they all signed. I think we're waiting on one or two more. Maybe not. That might have been everything. We'll see any major trades happen. Uh, Studnicka to the Rangers with a fifth for Shane Bowers, a third, and Stoll. And that looks like it's it for trades. And that looks like it's it for our extensions as well. Islanders fired their coach. All right. Finish the year off here. Hopefully we make the playoffs. We lost a few games here. Kind of struggling. Oh, boy. All right, let's do some scouting real quick. All right. Let's see if we can win some games here. There we go. Don't want to drop out here now that we're so close. Borgen is back. I don't know if he was actually out. Out. I know some people wanted me to call up Lop, but he's still listed as minor checker, so I'm just going to leave him in his goddamn role. Um, Bol I was his name? Bolg. Who the fuck? All right, well, he's in, clearly. I just can't find him because my eyes don't work. What? Where is this guy? Hold on. I must have read it wrong?
Borgen. <laughs> I forgot the name. I thought Borgen. I guess, what the hell? I watched The Hobbit, I think. <laughs> I watched The Hobbit like a few weeks ago. My mind is just insanely. Huh? No! Legacy's out till the 6th. Alright, he'll be back for the playoffs, but that's a rough one. Have fun, Kale. Play with yikes. Cool. Now what? Oh, Legacy is technically back. I wonder if I actually did that wrong, by the way. Yeah. Okay, I'm actually glad that happened because I actually had him. Um... Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I was thinking for a minute that I did a double switch wrong, but I don't think I did. Either way, we're back to good now. We're back to good. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys trust me? I'm speaking. Um, anyway. Oh, what the hell? I thought it was he returned. No, no, he's actually got injured again. Cool, cool, cool. Thank goodness Caden is uh, fully healed. Uh, we lost 10 to 1 to Vegas. That hurts. But we made the playoffs. No! <laughs> what? Oh, we... No! These losses hurt. These two losses hurt. The Vegas loss especially hurt. But that, that loss right there to Calgary, that, that fucked us. No, legit that. Well, I mean, the Canucks are... Oh, my God. Giving them a point here sucked losing these... Oh, my God. We missed. We missed by one point. That's what you get. We didn't even hit 90 points, man. Honestly, we, that's what we get. We didn't have a great, great team. Didn't have a great goaltending situation. We actually missed the playoffs. That hurts, man. That really does. We had the chance. We were right there. We didn't get the job done. It's... I'll blame injuries at the end there a little bit. That sucks. That sucks. Damn. That's a rough one. But it happens. I mean, we're still very young. Learning experience, missing the playoffs by literally one point. Oh my god, no, we missed it by tiebreak. We missed it by row. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that hurts so much. The Seattle Kraken. Oh. God, I hate this entire league. I guess I should have just went with the, the West, but let's see what their row was. Oh my god. Honestly, if we, had we just beaten the Canucks in overtime instead, how would it work from there? Would it would have been goals four? Then we would have lost by goals four. Fuck. <laughs> I think it goes by goals. I'm not too sure. Or does it go by wins? If it goes by wins, we would have won. I think it goes by wins and then goals four. It goes by row, and then it would go by wins, and then goal. I can't remember exactly, but... Ugh. Missed by one point or by by one row. And, oh, God. Eh. That sucks, man. It, it was so close. It was so close. And we just fell short. That's a heartbreaker. But, hey, you know what? That, that This sort of thing builds character. I'm not going to be too worried about it. I still feel like we exceeded expectations. This is going to build character. 78 points for Lambert. What a season. That's a breakout year for the guy. Not quite 20 goals, but 78 points is massive. 66 points for Lawrence. Consider that he just came off of a 46-point campaign rookie year. That's very, very good for Nasir Lawrence. Still needing to grow. Tarasenko at 66 points. That's a nice bounce back for him. Uh, well, I mean, not a, I mean, he's been improving since he came here. He, had, he was injured last season, though, but still. Good year for Tarasenko. Tutin, what a rookie campaign for him. 63 points, 35 goals. Kovacs with 58. Still could use a bit more out of him. Denisov only had 39. That's a defenseman. But uh, Lang only with 38. Kind of hurts. 24 goals, sure. But yeah, that kind of hurts. He's on like a third line pace. 
Denisov, not bad, though, considering uh, where he was at. We still got some points for him, but yeah, we definitely need... Gonna need a legacy top up there. I wonder if him and uh, Denisov would actually be decent partners. They kind of would. They both got pinch cycle. Even though it's not the uh, the two-way bullcrap, it's... Or, or the uh, DFD and OFD. They might still have good chemistry, given the fact that they're X-factored. We'll see. Boy, what can missed a lot of time. Uh, not a great... He got more playing time at the end there, did uh, Larson. Because, well, yeah. Overall. So they split time pretty evenly at the end of all things. Walstead did better. Not record-wise, interesting. Uh, Tootin might win the Calder, though. God, he's so sick. Having Magnetic is awesome. Uh, one T and also close quarters. This guy's just like a great go and it's a good slap shot off the rust rush. This guy's just a solid, solid dude. All right. Well, there's our uh, production for our team. Check around the league here. Uh, Austin Matthews, 103 points. Patrick Kane, 101. It still kind of feels like the scoring's a bit low. Maybe it's not. I don't know. It just feels different than, uh, it does feel like it's a bit low, though. Even though I've done the same thing. Maybe maybe you got to go to the higher scoring thing. I don't know. What do you guys think? This is how I used to get the scoring before, was doing the uh, attribute effects cranked all the way up. But maybe i got to try out the high, the high scoring thing. Who knows? Anyway, goal leader is definitely going to be Matthew, 66. McDavid's in second with 50. Assist leader is Baxter with 76. Not bad. Goodrow, probably the most clutch. 10 game winners of 38 goals. Power play goal leader would be Matthews with 24. Power play point totals also Matthews with 34. Tied with uh, McDavid. Shorties, Ho uh, Rupe Hints with four shorties. And he had the most, well, tied for the most shorthanded points with seven on the Panthers. And actually, no one up top there for Selkie race. There's Barkov, so he's looking like maybe the front runner. Uh, Crosby's got to be in the conversation. O'Reilly, looks like he didn't even play center. How the hell do you do that to O'Reilly? Wow, looks like kind of a two-horse race. He sure I don't think had enough face-offs. Yeah, looking like kind of a two-horse race there. Some other mentions who are, might be in it, but... Not a whole lot in that Selkie. That'll be interesting. So Fox gets 71 points, but I'm, I'm saying Branstrom's going to win that Norris because that plus minus, you know, the game loves it. So Adam Fox leads the way in points, but Branstrom's definitely winning that Norris. Goaltenders, uh, hella suck by a wide, wide, wide margin. Yeah, I, I would say no one else is even close. No one else is even close. No. I don't care. Like, records, you oh, but Skinner has a very similar spread. Gibson even kind of has a similar spread. But even if he doesn't, yeah, no. Well, he doesn't really. It's just the stats are so far different. Hello, hella suck by a mile. Yeah, it's almost like the goal. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'd have to, like, compare goalie save percentages and stats and stuff to, like, scoring and try to I'm trying to make this simulation scoring as real as possible kind of awkward I thought this would work again with the attribute effects being cranked up but X factors might or, or probably have a lot to do with everything I'm just wondering if I crank up the sim scoring you know because there are guys who win the season with, the, with these kind of save percentage I don't know if it's this many of them but it looks pretty good like from a goaltender standpoint this looks kind of standard so it's just I don't know anyway Rookies, tootin' baby. Light of the way, Connor Geeky was also rookie with 53 points. Not a bad rookie campaign, but tootin' is going to win that Calder. 35 goals, 63 point rookie season. That is tremendous from the fourth overall selection of this last draft. How about any rookie goaltenders? Anyone standing out at least? Uh, actually, yeah, Dostal. That's pretty damn good. But again, 20, 25-year-old, he was right in the mix there. I, w I don't know if he was like top 10, but he was 
he was in the upper echelon or upper half of the goaltenders side of things. But you you ain't you ain't supplanting thirty five goal and sixty three point campaign from Tutin. Absolutely not. So hit leader Stone with two hundred one. Only one guy hitting the two hundred mark in fights. Everyone's soft. Tyler Bertuzzi on the Sharks. Gross. Yeah, not a whole lot of fights at all. <laughs> so it looks like they fixed the two-way thing. <laughs> all the two-ways coming in and fighting a hundred times a season. Alrighty. So that's that. And unfortunately, we missed the playoffs. Again, I really didn't think that would happen. I thought we were kind of going to go all the way. It didn't, it didn't work, though. So let's check out some progress reports and get another look at that draft class. Tootin had tremendous growth throughout this year. I'm very, very excited about him. He's just looking like an absolute gem. Legacy as well. Legacy's looking very good. Lawrence still got some natural growth, but it's not a lot. But he should still jump. Maybe he can get more stack growth on top of it. It'll compound upwards. He'll still be fine. I'm not too worried. Might become a second liner rather than anything, but whatever. He was a third overall selection, so that hurts if you consider him maybe being a second rounder, but, you know, what can you do? Uh, it does say Larson's X-Factor now, even though it doesn't on... I think that's got to be glitched, because it'll show it here, but then when we look at him, he doesn't have X-Factor. Oh, it's just showing everyone X-Factor. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, so that's a glitch. Anyway, a little bit of growth from Lang as well. Not a ton, but it's good that he did grow. Should get a jump. He should actually be listed as something next year, we hope. So that's what we're after. All right. In the system here, Urquhart. Solid growth out of him. Who knows if we use him. Solzer for a sixth round selection. That's just insane. Started in his 40s, is now in his 60s. Yep. Uh, Fritz. Decent-ish growth, not a ton. Uh, Goggle, Gogol, Gogol Bello. Uh, Blumdahl. Again, a little bit of growth. Could have used him more. Hopefully, jumps. We just need him to have, like, one great, great year. Uh, looks like Riker Evans is in good spot. He's morale up a little bit. But he's in a decent spot. So he's kind of turning out to what we were kind of hoping at him. Top six or depth guy. I mean, where he started. it's Can't really complain about that. Uh, Anderson, most likely trade bait. Pavelski, McIntosh. Still list, listed as minor score. So he'll get a jump. He should be third line. Well, hopefully third line ready. Rivers is a little behind the eight ball. Got to decent growth here, though. So, I mean, we'll see. Anyone... Anyone miss? Yeah, we know about Lop. But, I mean, I played him where he was literally listed, so. He should still get a jump. That's about it for the growth side of things. And we'll take another look at the draft class. Obviously, that franchise winger's there. We're not going to get, well, unless we're insanely lucky, but we're going to be, we're going to likely have a 15th pick <laughs> or a 16th. Not likely to get our hands on Johan Prince here. Or anyone up there for that matter. But we can get our hands on another Fritz. Here's a winger playmaker we can grab. Five-year ETA. Good teammate utilization, but bad shot utilization. Makes sense. So get our hands on him. Uh, no other guaranteed elites, but we have Johnson and Grossman. How we can snag a sniper. And a DFD on the left side. Well, maybe we grab him. Uh, gem back here, so I'm going to pin him. Other than that, though, yeah, we didn't... Nothing really... Nothing crazy. We're looking at the way of pins. I think I only got... Oh, never mind. I got, I got a few, but they're all... A lot of them are around the same area. So we don't have a great spread. So we're going to have to probably rely on a lot of blind picking here. Or... Off the board selections, locking in stuff that we really, really want. It's kind of looking to be the case. Yeah, 
It's looking like I might even move towards cycle pinch for most of these guys since two of our main guys are cycle pinch. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, so that's the year. A little bit unfortunate we missed the playoffs, but that's how it goes. We had a great improvement year. We were we went into it thinking, yeah, we could be a bubble team. Let's not set expectations too high. Sucks to miss in the manner we did, but we missed, and that's what it is. So. It's all about we got to improve upon our goaltending. Our defensive core has to get better. But, I mean, everything's got to get better. It looks like our offense is a little, hilariously, a little more solidified than our defense, which is we thought was going to be opposite. But then we drafted forwards extremely heavily. Um, but at the same vein, we do have a solid foundation with three really good guys on our defensive core in there right here, right now. So, depending on how Blumdahl's doing, maybe we target a, uh, a nice... Uh, defenseman in free agency maybe a veteran presence for a few years while we wait for Blumdahl and see if he actually develops into what we hope he can or hope he will develop into so let me know what you guys think hit that like button and I'll see you at the draft